I just uploaded a, um, not just uploaded, um, this is the second part of a skincare routine, not a skincare routine, it's just a quick makeup tutorial, but I have already uploaded a skincare routine or um, what my skincare is basically um, in a previous video have a look and if you came here after watching that video thank you so much for all your support so I am a mom um, to a two-year-old and I'm very busy I run my own business and a household and things get a little hectic um, and I it's very hard for me to find time for myself, but whenever I do, I like to obviously um, do things and, um, you know, one of those things is just putting a little bit of makeup on to make myself feel better. Um, I don't wear makeup every day. I hardly wear makeup, but whenever I do, I like to um, just pamper myself, you know. But this sweet video is nothing like that. This is not glamming up. This is just... For those of you who wants to look, um, you know, somewhat uh, presentable, like you had a good night's sleep, this is what that's for. Um, and I'm just going to time myself, see how quick we can do this, um, as if I'm doing it on myself. So I wouldn't use a lot of products, I'd use like concealer, a little bit of foundation here and there, small amount of blush, we'll just jump ahead. Um, first thing I want to do is if I want to, I've already done my skin prep, uh, which you can see in the other video. I'm just going to use MAC Strobe Cream. Now this one is actually really good to um, make yourself look a bit awake and, you know, um, oh, whoa, um, look like you have a bit of glow. See how that's just the light bouncing off your skin so that's what we want so I'm just gonna put that on the high points in my face I'm filming a makeup tutorial after so long and yeah I don't know how I'm gonna do but you guys can tell me how I did I do have um, a couple of concealers that I use um, here and there but I think I'm gonna put a bit of foundation on um, since my skin has changed this is my new favorite foundation I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation and I do have a damp mini beauty blender here so just gonna use a teensy tiny bit and put it on the back of my hand sorry if I keep looking over here that's because I have a mirror I am just gonna put that under my eye and on top of the eye because I have a lot of um, darkness around my eyes from lack of sleep that's what happens when you're a mom and um, and you're pregnant oh if you guys can hear some noise that's um, downstairs we have a technician to check our refrigerator some um, in the veggie drawers or the crisper it there's a water leak we don't know what's happening all my veggies going um, bad and moldy and every single day I have to like empty out like a cup of um, water which is ridiculous and the veggies sitting on top of that water all night long do you see the difference that's amazing and I do have some darkness around my mouth so I'm just gonna put it around that and on my chin this is what happens when you have South Asian background now you can obviously you know do more but um, so far it looks pretty good presentable and I'm gonna stop it right there I really hate wearing a lot of makeup 
um, in the daytime especially but yeah you can definitely take the extra step I'm just gonna use a little bit of the top tape shape in the color medium tan golden oh uh, my Fenty color was 330 by the way this is um, way too light for my skin so I'm only gonna put like a tiny dot right there and right there even that might be a little bit much this is great for um not hydrating what's the word lightening lightening you know what I mean highlighting <laughs> that's what I meant okay that's that and then I'm gonna use now if you really want to set your concealer um, I recommend the new mask setting powder which is pretty good this is really great if you have a lot of um, oily skin it instantly like blurs everything which is pretty awesome I'm not gonna put a lot because I have very dry skin and I don't want it to um, cling to any dry patches alright then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and some powder I am using the Mac Studio Fix in NC45, which is my color, um, and I'm literally just gonna dab it a little bit because I don't want a lot of powder on my skin. I just wanna kind of even out the skin tone without a lot of foundation, so a powder would do the trick. Don't forget to blend it to your um, oh, itchy. Don't forget to blend it down to your neck, obviously. Um, I'm going to do a bit of contouring, bronzing, whatever you call it. I'm using the um, Sodio MAC Fix Powder in NW 5S, I think. Yeah. It's a um, like a significantly darker shade for my skin color and I'm using a Real Techniques brush in 300. It's this really amazing pointy brush that I've used forever. It may look like a lot but trust me it sort of blends into my skin. It's not a lot at all. I'm not rushing but this is the speed I would do my makeup if I am doing my makeup so that's why it may look like I'm rushing but I'm not <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna use the what is this Morphe M403 brush oh by the way I didn't tell you what brush I use for the powder it's the Coastal Sands BRC S29 I don't even know if the coatings right anymore for these brushes i haven't done makeup tutorials in so long so um it probably isn't and whatever product that i use i'll try to link it if they're discontinued um i'm sorry <laughs> um i think a couple of great options is these are stuff that i usually have in my um, travel bag is this um coastal scent forever blush in royal which is this one and charming 
and I try to alternate um, I do like this one how it has like kind of that rustic um, look and this one's kind of like a baby doll pink kind of like a mauve pink which I think I'm gonna use that today just with a very light hand tap the excess off you don't want a lot at all now I'm doing my face because I am not doing a lot with my eyes um, a couple of great basic eyeshadow palettes that you should have is the Naked um, Little Basic Palette palettes. And these I've had forever. They're really sticky now, which is annoying. But, oi. Um, that's the Naked Basics palette. And then this is the Basics 2 palette. Those are great options. And the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This is a great palette to have. I know they rebranded now. Um, I'm not sure if the same palette's available, but I'll have a look. Um, but this has all the basic colors that anyone would need for um, everyday makeup, sort of. But what I'm going to use is the Morphe Times James Charles palette. Now, I bought this. Um, back in January or February before I went on my trip overseas um, This is the mini palette and it's you get plenty of eyeshadow. You don't need the big palette um, This has all the colors that you ever need um, That's why I got it because it, it has a little variety when it's great for traveling So I'm going to use a couple of colors From this um I think I'll use the color, I hope my battery's not dying. I'll use the color um, Punch Me and maybe, actually, I just need like one color to put all over. I think I'll use Punch Me and Canvas. So that's Canvas and that's Punch Me. And I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to put the punch me color all over. They're really pigmented and I absolutely love them. Morphe stuff is really great. You just want to apply it all over and then blend upwards. It kind of evens out your um, eye color. And I'm using the color canvas just to blend on the brow bone. Don't be very heavy handed because it's, you know, you're just trying to even out your um, eyelid. It's so annoying that the names are like on this plastic sheet. If I lose it, I don't have it with me at all. Now you can um, put eyeliner on, but if I'm in a rush, I really don't care um, for every day. Like who wants eyeliner? I'm using Maybelline Pumped Up um, Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I do like the um, the yellow color tube as well. And I'm just going to put a little bit through the lashes. If you have sparse eyelashes um, or short eyelashes, I recommend curling it beforehand. My eyelashes are still pretty good. I did notice that I'm losing a lot more lashes now and have very, like, it's, it is a bit sparse, but it's not that bad, so. That's it.
Eyebrows, literally I'm just going to use the Essence Make Me Brow uh, Eyebrow Gel Mascara. This is great with this tiny little wand for every day. I hate filling my eyebrows in. It gets the job done. Okay, um, a really good everyday lip color is the uh, MAC Luster Lipstick in Capricious. It's this beautiful um, pinkish color. It's great for um, darker skin tones. If you want to take the nude route, I'll take Double Shot Amplified also, which is a beautiful nude color. Oh, and also another option is this one, which is Rodeo Drive by Gerard Cosmetics. Now, this bad boy is broken, so it's a lot more pinkier than the other one and goes really well with our skin tone as well. I think I might just go with the Capricious. That is such a pretty color. Yay! Oh, if you do want to put a bit of highlight, you can, but you know, every day means every day, not glam. Anyway, guys, that's the final look. Yes, enjoyed my mini tutorial, mummy friendly, quick and easy tutorial with very minimal product. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, follow me on my Instagram, it's Mrs. Shasha, and also follow my um, Instagram for the online baby boutique, with, which is Little Kids and Me. I'll link everything down below and um, check out my website for um, the baby boutique as well. I will have all the links down there and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, when you're subscribing, don't forget to press the little bell icon so you get notifications of my future videos and thank you so much.